Oh, first I want to introduce myself. My name is Muhammad Abu Ramza. So today I want to present about flowchart and to see the code. First for the flowchart, we start with start, insert number, and interpin. For interpin, we have uh, third try, second try. If the third try, if we fail, it will display account has been active and end. If the call pin inter is correct, uh, I will be to choose four. First is checking balance and we display account balance info and display electrician and then. And for the withdraw cash, if we choose withdraw cash, it will ask, ask us to enter the withdraw amount. After that, it will show us a few amount in account. Yes, and supply amount of a cancel, record the balance, display the code. And we ask again about another question. If no, it will back to enter the withdraw amount. Uh, uh, if we choose a deposit, it will ask us to enter the deposit amount and record the balance. Display the current balance and it will ask again about the question. And then, and first is quit. If we choose a quit, it will display thanks for using the bank and it will ask an alteration. If not, it is an So, for the procedure code, uh, we refer to flowchart to go this procedure code. Uh, like the same, is first it will start with card number in the pool. If we choose yes, it will force way we can choose second million with no cash, deposit, and exit. If no, it will give a second try, third try. If fail, it display a active. For chicken balloon, it will display account balance info. Withdraw cash into the withdraw amount of your amount in account. If yes, it will supply amount of cash insert. We call the balloon, display the code balance. If no, it will back to enter the withdraw amount. For the deposit, uh, let us enter the deposit amount. We call the balloon and display the code balance. Quit and display thanks for using. Anyway, as again, us to uh, one another station and end. Okay, I'm IVT Maven, so I will present about the coding and how the how our program run for ATM machine. We have three three types of variables in our program, which is unsigned loan. I've said that our saving is two thousand ringgit in this ATM system. And our integer is choice, pin, card, k, and i. Character is transition, which means equal to y. So, our program is integer man, which means that our program have to return for integer at the end of this program. So first, you get, we will print the welcoming sentence for the user, and we will ask the user to insert the card number. So, the program will scan. And after that, you will ask the user to enter the pin again, and the program will scan for the pin. And the pin is integer only, so you cannot insert the character. And for our ATM system, we have set the pin is 1, 2, 3, 4. So, for the program to read whether the user insert a wrong or a correct pin number, we use if else situation. So, for the situation, if the pin is not equal to 1, 2, 3, 4, then it will continue the looping. Where it, the program will ask the user to enter again the pin for two times. That means the user only can insert the pin for three times maximum. So after three times, the system will stop. So during the loop pin, if the user insert the correct pin number for the second or the third time, the ATM machine will start the whole program. It will ask the user whether they want to do any transaction. We have four types of transition here which is check balance withdraw cash deposit cash and quit so there are four cases we use switch structure to build up this program we have four cases okay so how it works we will show it after that and what is this part this part is uh, after you do after you finish one transition the program will ask you do you wish to have another transition if you want then it will use this part to read again from the top from here so we will continue with the transition until if the user don't want to do any transition again then it will 
go into this part it will thank you for using for Juan bank so else else is for another situation where the when the user insert a correct pin number for the first time so it will direct go to this same part for the part just now so at the end it will return to zero why we return to zero because we have we use integer man so it will return to zero to stop this program so how it works we just compile and run first <laughs> Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Nama saya Muhammad Fazri Nalimi bin Muhammad Anak uh, Jadi pada hari ini saya akan membentangkan Mengenai uh, kesimpulan yang dapat Dirumkan oleh kami iaitu uh, Penggunaan mesin ATM Mesin ATM ini di, uh, dikenali sebagai Mesin yang boleh mengakses Ekonom pen seseorang untuk membuat pengeluaran tunai Atau pendahuluan tunai Kredit uh, dan menyimak baki akaun mereka uh, sistem yang kami buat ni sangat mudah dalam mereka bentuk untuk dilaksanakan kerana sistem ini hanya memerlukan sumber yang sumber dan sistem yang sangat rendah uh, jadi ciri-ciri sistem ini adalah seperti yang pertamanya keselamatan data yang kedua kawalan pegawai yang tinggi yang ketiga, mengurangkan kerusakan mesin Keempat, meminimumkan kemasukan data manual Yang kelima, uh, masa yang diperlukan untuk memproses adalah sangat sedikit Yang keenam, kecekapan yang lebih besar Dan yang terakhir adalah uh, perkhidmatan yang lebih baik dan cekap Jadi, dalam penggunaan mesin etik ini dengan cara buat yang betul dapat membawa kepada hasil yang baik Tapi jika tidak digunakan dengan betul seperti kecurian atau penyalahgunaan ini perlulah dihentikan jadi sebagai pelajar uh, pelajar dapat memanfaat, memanfaatkan penggunaan harian dengan sempurna seperti pengeluaran dan memeriksa bakal mereka jadi hal ini dapat memudahkan segala urusan pelajar harian jadi itu saja daripada saya. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.